All right, guys, I'm in the woods at some more public land. I'm actually here with my daughter. Hello. And from a long distance away, we spotted this elm tree. It's been dead for a while, but as I've shown you guys before, it does still have some of its little wispy branches on the top. So we headed for it. And sure enough, we haven't approached it yet because I wanted to get the camera out, but we could see some morales. Okay, I'm just, I thought I'd show you guys quick and then I'll pick them with my daughter. So here's a couple. So yeah, this one's getting old and sunburnt there. So good thing we showed up. Okay, there's a couple there. We'll take a peek over here. Ooh, yeah, see this one's, oh yeah, there's a couple old ones here, Katie. Uh-oh. There's a couple that are too far gone. Okay, so see see how them are kind of darkish brown, guys? Them might be too far gone. But see, there's one there. Ooh, yeah. It's kind of funny. There's a few at different ages. So see, there's a gray like that. And then these ones are kind of too far gone. Let's see it. When I looked back up in here, can you guys see any? Well, I spotted one when I was walking, but... Okay, let's quick look down here. So yeah, we're having, we just only probably been in the woods about 10 minutes. So that was a pretty good start. Gonna quick look down here. Oh yeah, see, here's one too. This is the first, the first morale footage I've taken with the GoPro. So it's kind of exciting. Okay, yeah, there's a few in here. So we'll have fun kind of uh, scrounging around picking some morales already i'm turning this off okay guys i had to turn the camera back on so i'm kind of wandering farther from the tree so see caitlin's over there by the tree and see i'm wandering farther away and we're still finding a couple we actually have found two species so far yellows hey there's one uh yellows and some grays so this tree seemed to pop in two separate rounds and then i came up here and not, this might not even be associated with that elm, but check it out guys, look at this. Okay, I thought I'd jump in and do a voiceover because I wrongly identified this in the video. I thought this was a verpa, which is in the morale family, but not a true morale and questionable edibility. But this is actually a half free morale. So if the stem goes halfway up into that bell-shaped top um, and connects, then it's a half-free morale. If that, little, if that long stem goes all the way up and connects to the very top of that little bell-shaped cap, then it would be one of the verpas. So in this case, it's a true morale and it's a half-free morale. So they're perfectly edible and very good eating. So definitely happy to find that. <laughs> Look, I'm carrying it around like a trophy. <laughs> All right, check it out. Me and my daughter got the grill going because we just got home from finding them morels. And on the way home, we found some asparagus. So we're going to put that on there. And then I was telling my daughter old stories about um, picking morels in my woods here. Uh, so I... I only got a couple, two acres here. There's the tree that's trying to fall down. So I, I brought her down here to an old um, elm tree stump. And I was telling her, you know, 10 years ago, we picked morales here and every once in a while, if it's a good rainy year, it'll pop up a couple morales. Um, and I was just saying that and we looked down and there, look at this, guys. How cool is that? I'd say this is, this is just like the most picture perfect, nicest one of the season. Can you guys see any more? We kind of looked around. If I get bored, I, I might just scavenge around. Like this is right on the edge of my yard. All right, guys, let's grab it. Oh, it's so perfect. I don't even want to pick it. Look at that beautiful morale. How cool is that? So see, even these really old stumps can pop out a couple morales, even after 10 years. But 
So well, I guess, you know, if it's an easy check, then go for it. But it's not, a, not you know, I, I don't expect to come down here and pick a pound of morales, you know? So, oh yeah, actually there's something else we gotta pick. There's something else we could throw on the grill too. I forgot, I forgot. Okay, keep an eye out for morales. Okay, so we got steak. Oh yeah, we bought some steaks. Morales, asparagus, and look at it. We got pheasant backs. Oops, the morale rolled away. Oh yeah, these are hard to pick. I should have brought the knife. There's one, two. See these? These are pheasant back mushrooms. See, they get the um, name. Oh yeah, this one's easier to tell. See, it looks kind of like the feathers of a pheasant. See, these kind of look like feathers. And there's our beautiful morale. Look at that. Here, maybe that will be a cool shot. Maybe I'll take a shot with the asparagus also. Okay. I'm gonna get this stuff cut up and put it on the grill. There. But yeah, look at this, guys. Here's what we're gonna, that we found that we're gonna put on the grill. And obviously we have more morales than that one. We found probably a third of a pound, maybe a half pound. Pretty cool. All right, I thought I would just quick show you guys how I cut up the pheasant backs. Most people know how to cut morales. You just slice them in half to see how many bugs are in them. There you go. Uh, if they, like this one doesn't, this is a clean one, but if they, if they have uh, dirt or sand on them, you definitely gotta wash them. Most people wash them and soak them in like salt water for like hours or overnight even. But we're not gonna do that. We got the grills ready to go. Okay, these pheasant backs. Ooh, this one might be too tough. <laughs> Thank you, motorcycle. Um, this is a really tough one. Let me feel this one. Okay, this one's fresher. So pheasant backs will get really tough and leathery, and they'll get to the point that you don't even want to mess with them. Like, you don't even want to try to eat them. It'll be like boot leather. So this one's no good. <clears throat> if you scratch the bottom of them like this, see how it's all wet and like, where these little pores are on the bottom. It's all like wet and it scrapes off really easy. This one's perfect. The only part you don't want to eat is, um, this part usually is kind of woody. So, oh wow, I can tell this one's really fresh. So this part, wow, that's not even too bad. So in this case, we get to eat this entire one, which is awesome, because this one is so soft. Another thing you can do is you can actually take the skin off them if you want to make them really tender. Um, so you'd have pieces like this. See? I hope I got you guys in the center of the screen. But otherwise, um, these will be fine because this one is such a nice, wet, fresh one. Okay, this one's... I can, even with the knife, you can feel how tough it is. So see, this one's definitely tougher. Um, let's see. But it's still small and it should be okay. So we can just cut them up like that. Um, well, here, I'm gonna need a bigger tinfoil boat for the mushrooms, I think. And you know how you do asparagus. We're just gonna chop it up, right? There we go. Is this gonna be our asparagus one? There we go. Okay, asparagus. Let's see, we'll give asparagus half the butter. Boop, just like that. <laughs> We'll have to stir it around once it melts. A little bit of this. Okay, that one's ready. Hello there. Okay, where's the other... Well, you, you guys don't have to watch me do all this, but I'm going to chop up some of the morales, or all of them, and we're going to add butter and seasoning salt. We're going to get everything on the grill. Okay, see you later. I look pretty, don't I? <laughs> Not really. I'm going to delete this one. No. Will it delete it yeah. if I ask it to? So yeah, so now I'm recording, and then whenever I'm done, you just say GoPro stop recording. Okay. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm whispering. Can you guys hear me? Look it. The reason I'm whispering is because I'm with side character Tom, but he's he's just over probably a hundred feet from me and I want to surprise him when I come out of the woods. Look at, I found, I stumbled upon a big patch of morales. I'm not really sure 
why they're here. There's a, look, they're all over here. Look over here, guys. I hope the camera's pointed at a good angle. So yeah, look in here, look over here. So there's a big, really tall, half dead apple tree right there. There is a really old stump here. Um, and there's some morales over here and over here. And then up this way, there is, let me see what way the camera's pointed. Yeah, there's an elm stump over here, but the, the morales are not over in that direction. Honestly, it looks like they might be here. Let me look around. There's two, oh, there's another apple tree. Okay, so there's two apple trees. Wow, I'll have to go around the edge of the apple trees. I don't know, man. How many did you find? None. How many did you? I don't know yet. Did you find any? I might have found some. But it's a surprise. You'll have to watch my video to see how many I found. <laughs> okay, now he knows we found some. What's that? Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> yep. Okay, here we go. Look, guys. Do, 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 do. Okay, he knows we he knows we found some. Look at these big old yellows. I hope I have the camera at a adequate angle. He's pr he's probably gonna walk over here. Let's pick a bunch before he comes over. <laughs> we share them anyway. We either sell them or we eat them. <laughs> But I just like to sometimes surprise him when I find a big patch, you know. Okay, let's get them all. But now, oops, see? Don't do what I just did. Don't put the dirt in your bag. Okay, let's do this. This is actually the biggest patch that I've found this whole year. Look at. Tom's over there talking. Look at this. <laughs> we got a pound already. Yes. Thank you. Quick, Tom's coming. Quick. We've got to get them all. Here he comes. We tried to we tried to keep it a secret, guys. We tried to keep it from Tom, but Tom found one. Now, okay. Well, the uh, yeah, right. The cat's out of the bag. Um, there was a super awesome patch here, Tom. It was, we were going to surprise you when we got back to the thing. Well, right here, practice bending over. I have a lot, Tom. Yeah, oh yeah, I do. I got, oh, well, yeah, I definitely got a pound. I got, I might have, before you, have a heart attack. So I was trying to show these guys. It's really weird. I'm happy I just walked through here. Okay, where is it? Don't step out. Oh. 
That's that's a junk one. Is it really? No, look, it's beautiful. Look at. Oh jeez. Feel it. It's heavy. Ooh. Is that uh, almost two pounds? No. What would you know? <laughs> what do you think it is? Uh, nah. Ah, uh, this is more than a pound, Tom. I'll, I'll, we'll leave this bag separate so I can show you that it's more than a pound. Well, we have a lot more hunting to do. What, this is the first, oh, here's one. This is the very first spot that we've came today. And it was my idea to come back to this spot. <laughs> but Tom, look, there's two apple trees here. And the closest elm tree is over there. And there wasn't really any uh, morels over by it. So I don't know if these are, and the, but there's a stump right here too. Yeah. See, see this really old thing? A bunch were kind of by that. So all I know is I'm happy I stumbled upon them. Okay guys, look, we got this tiny little elm tree. See, can you see it? Uh, I'm kind of in the boonies here. Tom dropped me off and I walked through over a hill and or on the side of a hill and we're kind of in the boonies. But there is a couple morales here. Uh oh. They're hard to see. I hope I didn't step on one. Uh, these are grays and they're not very big. See? Make sure you don't put that dirt in the bag. But I, I don't, these will get a little bit bigger. They would have gotten a little bigger, but um, there's no way we're going to be back here. Uh, so I'm going to see what we can find here. This is such a little tree. It's funny. Uh, I'm not expecting them to be very far from such a small tree. Um, let's look below it. Um, oh gosh. Look at this little teeny one. Let's leave him. He can he can um, spread spores. Uh, let's see. Okay, so there's that one. Okay, wow. Ooh, just a couple little ones. Still cool. We got some grays. Then we'll look nice next to the yellows. Let me see. Do you guys see any more? Okay, well, I told Tom I wasn't gonna even come back and find him and get back in his vehicle until I had at least one morale. So <laughs> at least we have our pass. We have our boarding pass. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, look, we got a pretty small tree. It's not very far from the other one. Uh, and I see a couple brown, so why don't we look together? Oh yeah, there's a tall one. I still can't tell what, with, with the GoPro on my headband, I can't tell what I'm recording, but look at this beauty. Wow, just the shape of this. Wow, that's gorgeous. Get all the little dirt off. Dude, I'm having fun. This is, uh, this is cool. Look at this nice one. Ooh, yeah, beauty. Let me see what I'm recording. Yeah, this should be recording. Ooh, that's a nice one. Number big grays, or that's a big gray. Uh, let's see. There must be a couple more. Oh, I see a little one. Kind of a little bent over one hey i'll take them even if we're just getting a few a few per tree you never know when we're gonna come across a big tree you know usually the bigger the bigger trees can produce more morales oh i see another see another one make sure i don't step on any guys here we go Oh, I love these. Oh, the shape of these is so great. Isn't that neat? Oh, 
Okay. These grays don't stand out as much, so you really got to look. Okay. Alrighty guys, I'll look a little bit longer, but we'll uh, I'll get back with you at the next the next discovery. Here, I'll start recording before we even get there, but I see the wispy top of one. A little tiny tree again, but I see it has all of its little branches. So why don't we head over? I still had the GoPro on my head from the last tree, so let's head over there together and see if we make our next discovery. Oh yeah, that's looking good, guys. Ooh, that's gonna have morales. Yeah, see? And there's a broken off topped one there. See a stump of one? See them nice wispy branches? Oh yeah. We're gonna get some morales, guys. Come on. Okay, let's see. Such an exciting moment when you spot the first one, you know? Ooh, I don't know if we should go through that. Oh, I think we have to go around. I'm ducking, I'm ducking. Okay, there's gotta be some here, guys. Oh, well, there's definitely not a giant honey hole. Wow. Here, let's get below the tree. That's a good vantage point. Well, honestly. Okay, voiceover again. Cuz, guess what we found? We found more half free morales. So let's see, I think I get a little closer here. So yeah, downhill from that elm um i started spotting a bunch and there's actually a pretty good little patch of them oh they're hard to see in the video there we go now i'm starting to pick oh yeah look at the nice stem on that all right so see i kind of learned something too this season i learned the difference between um a half free and a verpa so this is cool. Yeah, I, I'm not sure how many I picked there. I probably ended up finding about, I don't know, eight or ten of them. Oh, yeah, I'm scooping them up there. Look at all of them. Oh, yeah, there were some goofy ones that barely had any wrinkles on them. So I don't even know. I wonder if I show them even closer. There was a few that had caps that didn't even have the spongy wrinkles. See? What's up with that, guys? Are them still half freeze? Oh my gosh. It's kind of hard, man. Mushrooms, there's so many similar types. Um, we might need a call in a mushroom expert. Oh, I'm picking up some more. All right. I'll uh, stop with the voiceover. I'll probably add them to the bag. I can always look them up. Oh, yeah, here's one. I don't even think them were associated with that elm tree. They're weirdly downhill from it. Like, I mean, away from it. Here, let me look down a little bit. Here, let's just look around. See what we find. That was goofy. Some of these are goofy. See, some have the spongy tops and some have a smooth top, which I've never seen. I'm just kind of wondering if they're just Kind of weirdly formed ones. Hey guys, not a morale, but look, super old. Oh man, this might this might have been a pretty big one. A deer shed. Look, the uh, rodents took all of this away. They chewed all this. They chewed all the ends. Wow, Tom really likes uh, deer shed, so he'll think that's cool. I don't know if I want to carry it, but eh, I could put it in the backpack. Oh, I wish it was a fresh one from this year. This is definitely from last year. Look at all the chew marks. Wow. Wow, I think this would have been a pretty big one. There we go. More carving material. We could carve this. <laughs> wow. Pretty cool. We got to show the present that we got for Tom. We brought you a present. 
listen it. Oh. <laughs> last year, though. From last year. Flip it over. It doesn't say last year on it. Look at these. All these tines are gone. Well, that's because somebody's been eating them. <laughs> I was hungry. You didn't give me bring me any McDonald's. Uh, let's see. One, two. It, we'll go find the other half. It, that was definitely from last year, so it would have oh. been nice. Are you sure? Was yeah. It's got moss growing on it, Tom. Look. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, 2023 right look there. this could have look at the writing right there. <laughs> yep look point here so one two three four and this one could have been longer okay are you gonna carve this into a uh, well, like your I'm gonna <laughs> no we already did that uh here we'll put that in the back um okay let's show you the morales now it'll add to our bag it's nothing special but huh Oh yeah. So see, fika teko mama to boom, to boom, to boom, boom, to kiti kiti ka boom, bara pa 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 so see, you can see all the little tiny branches on the ends. So this is where we recorded um, the few clips that are in the other morale video, but we left these ones, remember? Okay, let's go have a look. Oh yeah, Tom, they're bigger. Cause I can see one from here. Well, don't pick it yet. I'm not. Um, let's see how many. It's a lot bigger, okay? Um, yeah, I probably do. I hope nobody else picked back here. Oh yeah, okay. I hope there's, I hope there's a pound. Okay, let me get the viewers in here. Yeah, okay. I don't see a millions of them, Tom. Well, only if you want to. Okay, I'm gonna show them, I took the, a head strap off. I'm just gonna hold the camera and zoom it in here. Okay, how many can you guys see? Oh, there's some up by the tree stump. Hey, I see one way up there. Can you guys see that one? Oh yeah, there's a couple up there. Oh, I see more, I see more. Okay, see now we can stomp around. Look guys. Okay, here's some. Look, here's some. Okay, what about even farther up? Oh yeah, there's some on the top side of the tree, Tom. Hey! Look it! This one's got kicked over by a Sasquatch. Awesome! Yeah, there's a big one right there. I'm glad to see some on the top side. Alrighty, that's cool. See, this first year dead tree had no choice but to produce. Here, let's look at the branches one more time. See, look at the tiny wispy branches. Oh yeah. I think we might be able to get a pound out of the tree, Tom. Well, we better. Yeah, we better. I'm here for nothing. <laughs> you almost stepped on this one back here. That was so the footprint would mark it so you would see it easier. Just kidding. Okay, uh, GoPro, stop recording. Mm -hmm.